All right, welcome to what I will call here the Relationship Mastery Codes of Awe. And I'm so excited to be finally leading an activation after a, almost a couple months, it seems like. Very good, thank you. Um, thank you, all those that are leaving me comments, letting me know you can hear me and that tone came through. I'm gonna be working on a couple levels. My codologist certification just added to my knowledge of these of the sacred geometry so much so that it's overwhelming and then i go back through and i rewatch the certification trainings and i'm like picking up on so much more it's always it's always 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 beneficial to rewatch classes especially ones that you feel really connected with and the first time i saw the codes of awe um it was in 2017 very first time i saw one and i was like Phew, something clicked i could feel it to that on that DNA level, you know, let's just call it that. It is what it is what it is. So I, since 2017, have just been working with these codes for myself, receiving activations most frequently here in the past six months. And that's why I'm so excited because I even received another series of new activations in the past 30 days. And maybe that's it was the the Dow. Uh, codes of awe that I'm receiving and I still have more to go like the Tao Te Ching and you know my my word of the year for 2020 is Wu Wei so it's all along the same the lines of the Tao just not forcing anything just going and flowing and I have the wonderful opportunity to, to kind of be able to do that and it's great and I don't know why I was fighting not doing it so much I don't know why I was fighting the Wu Wei so I hope you're all interacting with this code, by the way. This is our protection code of awe. And so this is one that we're going to use at the beginning of all of our live streams. And it's one that you can use for yourself anytime you feel like you need a little energetic protection. So just allow yourself to interact and look at this code and take some nice, uh, nice inhales and exhales. Just really giving yourself that feeling of refreshment. It feels good to do this for yourself. And that's what I've really felt. It feels good to take part in activations for myself. So much so that I'm gonna invest some more into more activations and um, I'm excited about it and nervous because I'm not really working very much right now. And oh well, <sighs> just going forward with the plan, with the, what the universe is presenting in front of me. So, Anyway, I felt it at the deepest level inside myself that I was supposed to, and I learned about a lot of other things at the same time that I learned about the code spa. I learned about the Akashic Records and I learned about, it was very quickly after that, that soul realignment came into my life and everything happened for a reason and in the right order. And it's just now that I'm trans transitioning into being very much this, this healing modality. So let's, without any other <laughs> sort of introduction, because you guys all know me pretty well, um, let's go ahead. Let's start really interacting with this code. So, well, and actually, let me open up. I'm going to put this over here, my little book. Um, and let's go ahead and use this this few moments here while we're where we're working with this protection code of odds to sort of invoke the energies that we want to bring in. And this protection code of awe helps us eliminate any energies that don't, that aren't appropriate to come in. Any fears, any judgments, any negativity, anything that goes through your mind while you're experiencing these activations is supposed to be there for your highest and greatest good and your purpose um, is to acknowledge that and let it go, you know, as necessary, just like through in, in any kind of meditation, acknowledge what's coming into your field of being a vision of sight or thought and let it go and uh, then you kind of move forward from there so go ahead and take a nice the, the way we're going to interact with this code as we do with many many other codes but to give you an idea is is you're going to sort of inhale it in and imagine you're inhaling it through into your third eye space right here and then close your eyes and you'll hold your breath for four counts and then as you release it, imagine you're releasing it throughout your entire body, throughout all of your chakras, all of your meridians. These are energy, chi, that you, you know, the Chinese called it chi. This is where your energy flows throughout your body. So even if you don't know what they are, just having that intention that it's filling you in your entire body down to a cellular level with protection. 
That's, that's the way we're going to do on the exhale. And then you can open your eyes again to interact with the code again and do that, do that again. We're going to do that three times. Um, so you breathe it in, you close your eyes, you almost see it there in your third eye space. It's quite amazing. So go ahead and release all the air so you can empty your air, uh, your lungs of air right now. And in fact, uh, oh, go ahead and breathe in. <laughs> Delay. I'm going to turn on this uh, tone um, right here. It's a lower tone than we were listening. This is like a um, a base level protection tone, very, very much more quiet. So um, we're going to go ahead and use this. So now exhale, go ahead and exhale. And then imagine you're breathing in with your eyes open to your third eye. And then close your eyes and hold. And then release. Imagine it going all throughout your body. Open your eyes and inhale again. Close your eye, hold. See it there in your third eye. Exhale. One more time, open your eyes. Go ahead and close them. And then release. Creator of all beings, angels and archangels, my higher self, my personal team of guides, teachers, angels and masters, I request the following for all attendees of these sessions in all versions, in all multidimensional levels on all concepts of time, all subconscious, conscious and super conscious levels, I request them to receive all sacred activations in the best way possible for them and in line with their highest good and their higher self. To Asia and to Dory. Go ahead and inhale one more time. Open your eyes. See that code, close them. And then as you exhale, imagine this code is kind of filling not only your entire body, but all around you is filled with this beautiful protection code of awe. Oh, this beautiful code. I love working. I love, love, love working with these codes. Okay. Go ahead and open your eyes now. We have another code here. Oh, well, of course, uh, as well, take sips of water. If you have a uh, clear liquid like herbal tea, that's why I have my tea here today. So take, take water in between each of these activations. So this, this one is really, I love this code. It's, it's so gentle. Uh, you know, you have to really allow it, and I have to adjust my screen, I think, <laughs> to have it, to have it, okay, now I can have, now I can see, I can see it, it's so subtle. Let's talk about this code a little bit as you start to look at it and let it interact with you. So, there are times, I've worked with this code so many times, um, especially with soul realignments or um, relationship mastery sessions that I do for people and and you know I do a lot of the sessions for people right as they're ready to go through like a, a, a big a break or an ending it's interesting and it's because they really want to put they they really want to put some sort of effort into the karma of the relationship before letting it all go in this lifetime and so for them and a lot of people that can mean just looking a little bit deeper into the relationships and seeing at a karmic level what's going on. And then if appropriate, you can cut the ties to previous experiences that you may still be playing out the energy from in this life 
and this could even be previous relationships you've had in this life repeating themselves or you acting in the same manner is really another uh, more honest way of, of <laughs> saying it you acting in the same manner in multiple types of relationships for maybe a very idea of reasons but um, a lot of that has to do with these cords of attachment these that we have um, to previous experiences and to the souls in those experiences and it's so interesting with the way the cords will sort of start to reattach themselves in a new incarnation when your physical bodies had nothing to do with each the creation of those cords energetically but they're coming through on a multi-dimensional level you guys and that's why we say in that invocation i say in that invocation that that we really want to affect all levels of reality whether it's present parallel happening at the same time past future however you want to look at this it's really a non-linear kind of uh thought process but you know whatever you want to think of it this is a this is a code that's going to help support that so this is a code that's great when you're going through a breakup or a divorce um it is really really helpful if you're having a challenge, you know, really cutting the cords and, and you're saying, well, we haven't been together, but I still think about this person or events come up like anniversaries. And even though I'm in a new relationship, I, I still am overcome with some sort of emotion for that previous relationship and that maybe that previous event. So before we go into any sort of creating the mastery around relationships that we desire, we need to cut the cords to previous relationships or previous experiences that we've had um, within our relationships so that we can really just move forward with a, a more clean slate. And here's the thing is even if your partner or your ex or your whatever, your karmic, your soul, whatever, the soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call them, even if they are not doing anything to help themselves spiritually and you do this work, you're affecting them because you guys are connected even down to a, a DNA, you know, genetically connected. Um, and I know it's not, you're like, okay, how are you genetically connected to somebody you're not even related to, but we have this ancestral stuff where you're also working out and believe you me that the souls that come together as soulmates or twin flames that have work to do, it's not just for personal gain. Like the universe wouldn't be designed that way it's for a collective purpose now especially now after 2012 um, everything's speeding up time is speeding up so let's go ahead and let's interact with this code I see that I see oh, I have to slow down and let myself really start to see this code it's so subtle and I think that it mirrors it really mirrors the feelings I get when I'm working in the Akashic records, either for myself or for a client. And I just see how subtle these relationships are and they play out over and over and over again, these, these little experiences. And so this is getting right down to the details. This is, this is no big sweeping, you know, some of you have seen a lot of these codes and some of them look like fans or they really look like they're going to do some damage cutting the cords. These ones are for all the little subtle. These are for the cellular connections between you and another person, because you've also had experiences where you have been blood related to your soulmate or your, the person in mind in some way, shape or form. So it is, you are connected on a DNA level. It all comes through again to be healed. So go ahead, close, or actually go ahead and exhale. We're gonna do that same process. I'll guide you through a little bit, a few differences with this one, because um, we're gonna send this energy also down to Mother Earth. So go ahead and with your eyes open, inhale, and then close your eyes and imagine that code in your third eye. And then as you exhale, just with your intention, send all of that air, that energy, and that code down to Mother Earth. and then inhale. Go ahead and exhale again. And then this time, imagine you're bringing up that, that code back from Mother Earth. You sent it on its way to do some work, some multidimensional work, healing the planet, cutting the cords that bind you to old experiences, old souls. Go ahead and just breathe. 
I'm monitoring the energy in my left hand. And I have a really good feeling of when it goes sort of quantum, which it's happening quite quickly now with this one. On our next series, I'll teach you a little bit about monitoring the energy of your hand. It's, it's the way a pendulum works, only you don't even need to use a pendulum. Go ahead and keep breathing. It is intended for all attendees of this session to receive a cord cutting that extends on a multidimensional level outward helping them live up to their higher path and purpose without being bogged down by relationship karma that is unnecessary and no longer called for. Go ahead and open your eyes and inhale again one more time, looking at this code. Into your third eye, close your eyes, hold your breath and release. Say, letting go, I acknowledge all lessons that I have received from these experiences and I am letting go. Okay, yes, the energy is moving quite well. So <sighs> go ahead and take a sip of water. Ah. I just got double confirmation of this session is going very well. <laughs> Um, on a, a cellular level, I, I heard the sound of silence and I learned about this in the, in the Tao uh, code of awe sessions that I've been taking. It's the ringing in your ear. You're actually connecting with silence as, as it is known, not to necessarily the human hearing. Um, but yeah, so it was just right here. It's, it's already gone now, but it was confirmation, especially when, we, when I tuned into this, this beautiful code. And yes, I'm going to have the Solfigio frequency of 528 going while we're working with this code. You know, it gets better using these tonal frequencies. It really does. And I wanted to say that with the love and intention I have to serve you and to have this affect you in a, in a healing manner. The first time I listened to a session where the tone was going the entire time, I don't know, it was affecting me in a, in a different kind of manner. So just know that it's, it doesn't anymore. It's not so harsh to me. Um, but it was doing its work on me. It was doing the work that it needed to be done. I love this code. This looks a lot like the protection code um, that we had right there in the beginning. I'm noticing now that I've, I've, we're, I'm working with them back to back like this. Um, so I called this one, this is like the relationship mastery code. I think I originally did one of my very first sort of public activations. It was in a private group um, last February for the full moon with this code. So this, this is a beautiful code to be able to use whenever you want to activate yourself in alignment to the frequencies of love, to an open heart. Okay, it's not even necessarily about mastering outside relationships, but this one is also really supportive for mastering the internal relationship and, and getting to the bottom of, you know, how they always say, you know, I'm going to be with myself 
for a while. Um, we should always be being with our in, with it with ourselves, even when we're in a relationship with somebody else. But this is the code to use to really activate that sequence in your life, whether you're in a relationship with someone else or you're not. This is an appropriate code to use all of the time. It's like the self love, the self care code. Um, it's like code number seven in the book. So out of all the codes that were presented to Yvonne in her in her book that she wrote, um, this is code number seven. And you guys, I give you a digital copy of that book when you do one of your soul alchemy sessions with me. Um, now that I'm a certified codologist, I can, I can give out those books. So that's another thing to, to keep in mind if you've ever wanted to do one of those soul alchemy sessions. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do some serious work with this code. Now that we have the, the frequency's been going, hopefully it's, it's okay. It's calming down. It's doing its magical, beautiful work. Go ahead and exhale and then inhale. Inhale this code into your third eye. Close your eyes and hold your breath while you, while you almost see the imprint of that code. And then exhale it all the way throughout all of your chakra systems and all of your bodily meridians. Go ahead and inhale again and look at the code. Close your eyes and hold. And once again, imagine it's filling every cell of your body. You're giving yourself a big energetic hug with this code right here. I open your eyes one last time. Close them again. And exhale. Go ahead and rest with your eyes closed. Another way <clears throat> of deepening our integration, and I'm feeling called to tell you now, it will help it will help this code really activate more efficiently is to use your own voice so any vowel sound is really good uh, really beneficial i just happen to like the a sound or the ah sound because it is harmonic with that code of ah so in a moment just like you would just like you would chant om we're gonna do this ah uh, three times. So we'll exhale and then inhale to begin.
and it is commanded in the name of divine love that this 528 hertz frequency love origins code of awe be activated in all the attendees of this session. This code helps to administer unconditional self-love to yourself, unconditional love to others, helps eliminate hatred, judgment, guilt, or blame, and activates the potential or mastery of the relationship with the self as well as with others. And using this code, allow love to be your guide. This guides you toward your own I am presence and you can declare with certainty now after me, I am love. I am love. I am All right, go ahead and open your eyes. I'll put me big on the screen here for a moment. Um, go back to Facebook for a moment. Just wanted to take a little break in between activations. Um, and we want to help make sure that you understand, um, drink lots of water. You might be experiencing different flushes of energy, I'm feeling warm, um, especially a lot of times there's a releasing in the hands, especially if you are a healer, because it's, it's really getting ready for the channels of love. So your hands are an extension of your heart chakra. You know, that's why it's like serving, you serve from your heart and, and it, it just all goes together. Um, take some water, I'm gonna take some tea. So yeah, it's all about, it's all about coming outwards. Um, ah, take some breaths. This is, you know, I like to um, not go too fast with these, with these ones. I was um, kind of taken by how relaxing they can be when you're not rushing things. And that's, I think, another reason with the Wu Wei that it, having weekly sessions just wasn't going to happen because it takes me more time than that to really tune in to what the group wants in that moment and what the energy is. That's why I decided to do, this is actually session number two. Um, it's like apparently nonlinear sort of uh, series. Um, you know, I wanted to do one in January, one first, and then this, this was going to be the next one. But then all of a sudden February happened and I hadn't done the first. So I thought, well, let's just go with the energy of this relationship mastery because I felt it on so many levels that it would be beneficial to receive these codes, especially the one that we just did. It's so beautiful. Um, that, that one I hadn't even used uh, with anybody else for quite a while, um, activating this self-love. What an important code. So take, take some time with any of these codes that you want to work with on a personal level, on a one-on-one -on -one level. Please take time with the codes. Um, these are all beneficial for you to be looking at and gazing at. Uh, hi, Kim. She says she's feeling the shift in her hands for sure and in her heart. Good, good. This is, these are the places and the spaces that these codes really speak to, especially the, the last one that we did. Um, so yeah, yeah. And then of course we have all sorts of cords coming out from our heart chakras yeah, out to situations or people, things like that, that might need to be given attention every once in a while. So, uh, well, let's talk a little bit more about 
you know, I, I was just had this epiphany about relationships and it, it maybe because I was thinking about relationships all week because it's Valentine's day or whatever. Um, but even the song, I don't listen to the radio very much, but when there's a catchy tune on, I'll sometimes leave it on. Like I turn in my car before the Bluetooth hooks up and I can listen to my audible on my phone. I'll just be like, Oh, I like this song. It reminds me of being 22 or whatever. And then I'll listen to the words and they just, they, they just display so much need to be in a relationship. You know, you, and, and here's the thing. I mean, I grew up in that energy. When was Jerry Maguire released? Like way back in that he was going to, I was going to actually go on IMDb and find out and then like date myself age myself or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I didn't, uh, but it's a while back. It's, that's not a recent movie. You know, some people out there might be like Jerry Magoo, but Jerry Maguire, Tom Cruise movie. Uh, um, uh, what's the gal's name? It doesn't really matter, but it was like this, this whole declaration of you complete me. I'm incomplete until I'm with you. You complete me. And I saw that at such a young age, you guys, like that, um, that that was like program. I need to find somebody to complete me. I need that kind of declaration in my life, I decided. I decided right then. And I've led my life going through relationships and never really examining myself and maybe even not really loving myself until finally... I had kids and, and they love you. They love your kids, love you. And they do fill your cup. If you let them, if you, if you, if you just sink into the moments with ease that are, that are beautiful and amazing, but also punctuated also by boogers and sickness and sleepless nights and demands. And oh my gosh, I had no idea I was going to be running a, a, you know, a short order cook kitchen position slash waitress slash housekeeper slash chauffeur they're only through five, three, and one. And I do like all this. So, you know, you have to sink into it. And I, and I realized really quickly, it was because I don't have a relationship with myself. I'm not actually able to depend on myself. I'm needing all of this other shit to complete me still. And so a lot of this journey in the past few months um, and couple of years, but really in the last few months uh, that I've slowed down is really so I can regain that relationship with myself. And so that's why I've been using that code that we just received the activations from. And it's just been really, really pivotal for, for me um, for that. So let's, let's pull up our next code. <laughs> uh, I didn't, I was going to have like a whole bunch of like teaching things um, to do in a session. But it's not feeling like it wants to come through. Like I was going to talk to you a little bit more about this cryon book that I'm reading. And we'll just save that for the next one. Maybe it's because I've also been instructed to read this twice before I really start talking about it. Yeah. My guides are like, yeah, you're reading it, but you need to read it again. So just read it so you can read it again. Again. Right away. So that's what we're doing. I'm listening to, my, I'm listening to myself. <laughs> So this next code, here, let me go back to my Codes of Awe book. Um, this next code, this one, I think, right here, I'm going to get rid of you because we just did yours. This is the one that um, I really believe if Kim, you were on my live stream the other day, um, this is the one that I was like, oh, you want to catch this, this activation. And I did use this one in December, but I really felt like it, it really, um, it really made sense to bring it into, to this one as well, because, um, this is one where, where we start to look at the relationships and this one's actually called the human needs awareness for relationship mastery code of awe, the human needs awareness for relationship mastery. So there comes a time, and even Richard Rudd, he's the, the channeler for the Gene Keys, you know, he's not opposed to, when I say you should have a relationship with yourself, you can still be with other people while you have that relationship. And, and you can get into a relationship or continue in yours, even if you feel like you've never you really 
dug deeply into that connection with yourself, you can just start now. Um, and so then as you start to change and evolve within relationships, this code can be very supportive for you. And this code can even be supportive as you're going through a journey, you know, alone and you're changing and evolving and being very gentle with yourself as well, because it really calls in to understand the awareness that the, the needs that other people that they place on you, what it's doing for you. Okay, so when you have the children that give you a lot of demands or when you have the spouse that, that always seems to irk you in certain ways or when you have the relationship in general that just can't get past a certain point, this is the code to pull out. And it's one that the Akashic Masters are asking you to use the questions in your mind as you're contemplating, as you're looking at this code, um, and you're letting, you you know, every time I get really into looking at this code and I, and I kind of do that magic eye gaze, you know, where you're looking for the hidden picture, this one is like the, the lines in the background really start to um, breathe and pulsate and they start to move. And so this code is, this is one that we're just going to do the practice of, of staring at it. And I'm going to turn the frequency up a little bit again. So this, this code is helpful for you as you're looking at it and as you're contemplating it and as you're meditating with it, you can ask yourself, what more, or what, what, it's not what more, but what can I be open to understanding in order to move through this experience or this disagreement? How can I open my understanding in order to move through this experience? What do I need to learn or acknowledge? What do I need to learn or acknowledge in order to move past this disagreement? What am I not seeing properly? This code can help you see. This code is all about compassion. This code is about taking a moment to imagine yourself in the other person's shoes and really start to get some perspective and find out what part you're playing that's why when you open up these questions, you know, it's, what do I need to see? And a lot of times this is where it's like right in front of your face and you don't want to acknowledge it. And then it starts repeating it. You ask this question while you meditate and then nothing happens the first day and then nothing happens the second day. And you maybe ask the question every single day because you're diligent. And then all of a sudden you get like three experiences in a row that are confirming it. And because you're bringing your attention to the code every day, for example, and finding out what do I need? What's the human need awareness that, that I, in this situation? What awareness do I, the human in this situation, need to have to understand what the soul in this situation, the two souls, more or less, are doing? How they're guiding us? Open me up to that understanding. These are the kinds of things. This is, this is really a code that you can ask with, with a prayer <laughs> when, you're in, when you're in that place. You want a shift in the relationship? What do I need to acknowledge? What do I need to do? Bring to light how I can make this shift in my relationship. What am I missing? That's what this code is all about. Listen, this code will help release the need to take things personally. It'll help release the tendency to make assumptions to withdrawal, to feel isolated or to isolate yourself. It'll release negativity, tiredness, any feelings of revenge or vengeance that you might have. I know these things happen within our relationships. By the power of divine love and divine light, I ask that this code be activated in all of the attendees so they can activate the or understand the awareness of the needs behind the relationship behind the experiences that they're having and behind the situations they find themselves in so that again they can move forward 
with that understanding of karma, not picking up any new karma, just working out what needs to be worked out in the here and now and gaining perspective, understanding, and lessons in being open-hearted within that relationship. And we'll do one, we'll do one breathing exercise together. So we'll go ahead and exhale now. Go ahead and inhale. That code right to your third eye and then send it all the way down to Mother Earth. Go ahead and inhale it in from Mother Earth. Have it meet up with your crown chakra and open your eyes one final time. I love this code. Okay, I think I had one final code for you. Actually, where was it? I do. Yeah, so let's see. We always want to take a little break here, check in. I'll turn that tone down a little bit. <laughs> ah. So I'd like to tell you when the next session will be, but I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm just gonna play it by ear and it'll probably be at least two weeks from now, but anytime between two and four weeks, I would probably say, just because I don't wanna, I don't wanna say four weeks and then have it turn into six weeks because that's not the rhythm. Um, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna kinda go with the flow on that one. And I want to bring you these sessions when the time is right energetically for us all. So that's, that's one of the biggest things for me. Okay, let me check in with your comments. <sighs> and we'll start to share this next code. This is our last one for the day. If I said I love this one so much, would you just get confused because I, I say I love them all? <laughs> um, I really do. I really do love them all. Um, this one, this one has, this one's got a lot going in that is more than just relationship mastery. So I kind of wanted to leave it at the tail end. I felt like those first, um, those first three codes, not counting the protection code we did, really work together as a unit. Um, and then this one I wanted to include because this one is all about getting to you at an, at an organic level. I've said that so funny, it came out of my mouth, but like it's, it's all directed to your hypothalamus, the love hormone command congruence activation code. So we're going into the organs of the body, the hypothalamus. And there's a number of codes that help support the body in that way. And I'll probably put together one session that, that does those ones. Um, but this one felt really nice to include today. So this code, this code is really, I'm going to read you the description of this code because it's also, um, like I said, it's a little bit different. So as you're looking at this code, just take some nice, easy breaths and allow it to interact in front of you. Um, this beautiful, beautiful code, this violet pink activation code. This is the code that helps align you with what, what you say and what you do working in harmony. This code allows you to walk the talk and talk the walk. This is a helpful code for people who are afraid of expressing their truth. It is also helpful for leaders to infuse their leadership skill with more persuasive power to support the manifestation of harmonic success for all. So we all want to, we all want to, you know, manifest this 
the absolute harmony within ourselves and the people we serve. Uh, but this really, it gives, it gives a little bit of power to the punch. So if you're a healer, if you're really wanting to, to serve with an open heart, this is a code that you'll want to use maybe before your live streams or before your classes. These are codes for you to use personally, not necessarily to lead people in activations um, as you want to. I know I was leading people in activations before I became a codologist, but she wasn't offering classes <laughs> and she offered a class finally and I took it. Um, but yes, that you'll want to go through the proper means because she has a class for that certification now, finally. And so these are ones though that you can work for yourself. You can work also for your family, for your children and for your, uh, in your relationships. That's why the previous codes are really, really supportive. So this is a helpful code to use when learning challenges occur and most especially learning challenges within our relationship. And it helps us to be congruent in all areas of our lives as we live through higher values for the benefit of the whole. I love, I love these words. This one was just the most especially I wanted to offer that for you. So let's take a moment with this code. And it's actually being called to tell me to switch frequencies. So this, is, this frequency um, that I've switched to is the 639 frequency for energy, clarity, awareness, and inner peace. Um, so this is the code that I, or the, the frequency that just, that I really felt, you know, persuaded to change it. And that's the one that wanted me to change it to. Just listening to spirit. <laughs> so go ahead, let this code start. Breathing, it turns into a living consciousness code, a living being like yourself. It's going to speak to the parts of your DNA that are, that are ready to be spoken to in these ways. It'll help you express your truth. Lead with more pervasive power and from an open heart. So go ahead and exhale, and then we will inhale together to, uh, to begin. So release all your air. And then inhale. Close your eyes, hold, and release this code throughout all of your chakras, all of your meridians. Allow it to penetrate you on a cellular level. Keep breathing. We're gonna tune in with our with our sound, with our vocal cords again, exhaling and then inhaling to to sound out ah. Exhale to begin. Ah. and open your eyes and let this code again interact with you. We're going to take this code and we're going to activate it into a couple of specific chakras today for you. And this is just another way that you can work with these codes. This, this one especially works. Um, it's got those, those light blue bursts in it. Um, and that we're, those are calling out to our throat chakras right now. And so let's take this code for this moment, our eyes are open. We're gonna inhale it in the same manner that we always do, activating it through our pineal gland. Go ahead and inhale now. 
close your eyes and send it to the fifth chakra, your throat chakra. The chanting we did really opened us up for healing in this space. So we just want to allow it to settle in at that fifth chakra. It's almost as if, let's say you were standing where your third eye is. You've now shrunk to a small version of you. And you look down at your fifth chakra and it's, you can see this amazing code. Just a beautiful, beautiful blue mandalas behind or in that in that violet code. Go ahead and open your eyes. We're gonna send it to our heart chakra next. Inhale with your eyes open. Hold it in your third eye, close your eyes, and then exhale it down to your heart chakra space. Go ahead and open your eyes one final time. This time it's going to our solar plexus. Go ahead and inhale. Close your eyes and exhale, sending it to your solar plexus chakra. This is the seat of our personal power. And as I go through deeper and deeper into the Venus sequence of the gene keys, I'm really coming to understand that our, our new brain is no longer located in our head, but our new brain uh, re resides here in this, the, our core space, to have an open belly, to have an open heart. This is where our new intelligence comes from. So long we've been living with a closed heart, uh, with, with a tightened off core, not wanting any to get in, anybody to get in or to see who we are. And that is all changing. It's all opening and it's all releasing. Back to check on your comments, see if there's any questions. Finish off my very sweet tea. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time, whether you're watching this in the, in the future, just taking the time, taking the time for yourself or to receive these relationship mastery codes um, to set you up for success, not only in the relationship with yourself, but also in understanding and growing and learning from all of the relationships that you draw into your life. So we'll just tie this up with a final invocation of gratitude. I salute your crystalline avatar self from my crystalline avatar self. And I wish that all the attendees of this class, either live or in the replay, 
receive these frequencies, these clearings and these activations, as well as any insights or epiphanies they have into their relationships. I ask that they receive these for their highest good and for the highest good of their collective and in the best way possible for their third dimensional self. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, <laughs>